Well, my name is Lloyd, and I come from Wales. I'm here to sing you songs and maybe tell some funny tales. I might make you laugh, I might make you cry, but I promise you this love is fantastic. It's nice to be working for Justin and uh, Dino, as I call him, Step to One Seven. Um, he's even got the hat on. Look, he's got the hat on. And if you notice this, Martini, and I know just uh, Dino, Martini is an anagram of Ramadan. Have you ever worked that out? <laughs> I just thought of that before I came on, I'm right, man. Nice to see you. Have you enjoyed yourself? Love Teleface. Teleface, there we are. The girls are looking fantastic, aren't they? Wonderful. i got to tell you, girls, 43 and single. Don't look so surprised, lovers, one of you. I went to one of those clubs in Swansea last week where you meet the women. You know, mate, you were there. And he was taking the money on the door. And, um, and I went in and this woman pulled me. She pulled me. I thought, I've still got it. Yeah! I've still got it. Took me back to a flat in the uplands. She turned the light on. I saw it up like that. She was 75 if she was a cabin day. Now, I'm not in here just that, but she's too old for me. I said, I'm not being funny, love. I said, but how old are you? She said, I'm 71. Are you going to sleep with me then? <laughs> I thought, well, I'm you now. <laughs> Nobody looking? <laughs> she said, do you fancy a mother-daughter combination? I said, don't I? So she shouted up the stairs, Mum! <laughs> what she said to me? She said, whatever you see between my legs, you can have. <laughs> I, I said, I love the DVD and the coffee table. And that's, uh... <laughs> you want to tell his jokes on the ship, so I'm going there. No, i got to tell you, i got to warn you, ladies, I have a partner. She's over there, so it'll have to be your place. I, um... <laughs> I got a very, I got a lovely girlfriend, Claire, she's over there, she's actually 35, she's eight years younger than me, isn't that nice? Yeah? But she does feel middle-aged, creeping up on her most nights. And... <laughs> it's wonderful to see everybody enjoying themselves. I'm not going to keep you too long because uh, the time is very short tonight. And uh, as, uh, as Dino had just said, I, I work uh, mainly on the cruise ships now, and uh, they want to be telling you can't tell jokes about the Welsh. All the Welsh people put your hands up. Is it a look? Welsh and crowd, come on. Oh yeah, we're gonna have a choir. That's twenty of us. Fantastic. Any English here? Any English? Put your hands up. Well, we're gonna have a fight. Get the bastard. There she is. What are you doing? Where you from in England, love? Sorry? No, I heard you. I'm just sorry. I. Uh... <laughs> Look, have I said for you to that? Have I? Was anywhere? That's great. There we are. There's another thing on Google. Liverpool. <laughs> nice to see you. The English have got the best sense of humour in the world, you know. I love the one of the Geordie that went to the doctor and he said, Doctor, he said, every time I lift my arm up, it smells of coconut. And the doctor said, well, it's pony. <laughs> I can't remember to explain them all after. Don't worry. You won't miss nothing. He thinks I'm singing, man. I can't believe it. You can't tell George over the Welsh. You can't tell George over the English. You can't tell George over the Scottish or the Irish. Have we got the Irish here? Any Irish? Yeah. Yeah. I'm actually half Irish myself, <laughs> through a friend of my father's. But it is, um... <laughs> you know, you'll get a third-rate comedian at a day to come on this stage and try and tell you Irish jokes. And I will not sink to that level. It has all been done. For example, I never tell a joke about Paddy and Murphy and Paddy said to Murphy that Murphy said, if I went round your house and I made love to your wife when you weren't there and she had a baby by me, would that make us really a kid? He said, no, Murphy, that would make us even. <laughs> I don't tell these jokes. Like, how to get a one-armed Irishman out of a tree, wave at him. You don't have to tell these jokes. You can't tell Scottish, Irish, Welsh, or English, that is out. So you, know, I'm not you can't tell Muslim. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let's have a show of hands and be honest with me, because it's very rare that a comedian is honest. Let's have a show of hands who thinks the world would be a better place if we just laughed at each other instead of trying to blow each other up every five minutes. Anybody with me? Yes. Yeah? Would you like to hear a Muslim joke? Yes. <laughs> so I got into that. That was brilliant. That was brilliant. Yeah. I used to say there's so many mosques in Cardiff now, you had to take your shoes off in Port Albert. I thought I was... <laughs> so I went to the other week, do you know, do you know what 
remember I went the other week, Phil? A Muslim stag night. Hey, a Muslim stag night. <laughs> they had a stripper on. <laughs> Everybody was shouting, show us your face. <laughs> <laughs> Get your nose out for the boys, come on, Max. <laughs> I went to a mosque yesterday, got a crack of pair of shoes. Where's that? <laughs> I'm never outside. <laughs> I'm working out in Saudi Arabia, pitch the scene of Welsh boy. Working out in Saudi Arabia, flying the flag for comedy in Wales. And the furthest I've been before this was Gowerton in Swansea, right? I'm working out in Saudi Arabia, and there's this Muslim fella walking down the road. And let me tell you this, before I do tell this story, I am in no way a racist, okay? Because a lot of my best friends <laughs> are racists. And this... Back a bit, run around, cheers. And there's this Muslim fella walking down the road, and his wife, his wife, is walking three feet behind him. Now, I don't know if you know this, there's a sign of respect to the man. The woman has to walk three feet behind the man as a sign of respect. Did you know that? No, well, you learn something every day, don't you? So I went up to him, I said, what's the score here? He said, it is the law. The woman walks three feet behind the man as a sign of respect. I said, well, it's not like that where I come from, mate. <laughs> is it, boys? <laughs> I said, she who must be obeyed, isn't it? We hold our women's hand, we give them a kiss, we tell them we love them. It's called sexual equality. It's what made Britain great, isn't it? Isn't it? <laughs> he said, well, it's not like that here, that is the law. Well, I thought, don't get involved. Six months later, I'm back in the same village, walking on the same road. It's the same fella. This time, the woman is walking three feet in front of the man. <laughs> So I went up to him, I said, what's that? I said, sexual equality? He said, no, landmines. <laughs> so... <laughs> See, the woman was walking three feet. With, with a... I'll write it down for you. Here we are, I'll write it down. Here we are. In the Towers Hotel tonight, fair play, they, they showed me the dressing cupboard. <laughs> Don't laugh, there were four stars on my dressing room door. <laughs> then I realised that was the freezer in. I mean, that's terrible. There's a big sign on the door saying, beware of puffs, beware of puffs. I went a bit further. There was a sign on the mirror saying, beware of puffs, beware of puffs. I looked down and there was something written in small writing on the skirting board. <laughs> You're miles ahead of me, don't you? Know? <laughs> so I bent down to read it like this. And it said, you've been warned twice. Oh, it's a duck. Great songs like this. Do you remember all the fellas will laugh at this? Watch all the blokes laugh at this now. Watch that, right? To all the girls I've loved before, I won't play the CSA no more. <laughs> what about if you knew Peggy Sue, then you'd have what I've got to obey. Okay. <laughs> Almost is rude, isn't it? Do you remember that song? Stupid Cupid, you're a reaming guy. Hey, hey, set me free. Stupid Cupid. That's it. What about this version? Last Friday I was standing in the gentleman's loo. I felt a warm sensation going over my shoe. This little drunken fella, he was rather cross-eyed. Was standing there relieving himself right by my side. I said, hey, hey, can't you see? <laughs> you stupid bastard, you're pissing on me. All, I'd like to sing a beautiful Welsh love song dedicated to this lovely lady from Liverpool. It's very serious, this. And uh, I'd also like to dedicate this to my dear father who's up there now, uh, nicking the lead off the roof. Go on now. It's one of a song. Thank you very much. Goes like this. Can I just have some mood lighting for this, please? Don't take the piss. Put it back on there. Thank you very much, Fred, and all the best. I hope you've enjoyed it. And tell Elvis we love him, and we don't think about him. And, uh... It's right, can I, uh, can I do this with English or anything? Can I love That's all right. Okay, so I'm going to go now. Time is very short. So, um, all the Welsh people are going to sing to this lovely lady from Liverpool. I said, are you a scouser? Yeah? You know what you call a scouser in the suit? <laughs> the accused. And... <laughs> this is... I know I've taken the mic, mate. Right? I know I've taken the mic, but can I say why? You actually remind me of my grandfather, sir. No, and I mean that in a very sincere way. My grandfather is a very intelligent, good-looking man like yourself. 
Yeah. And you know what my grandfather said to me? He said, Lloyd, you never get anywhere in life without opening doors. I mean, it's very profound when you think about it, isn't it? You never get anywhere in life without opening doors. He's dead now, obviously. He got sucked out of an aeroplane. But... This is a little song I've been doing for a number of years. I like you to sing La 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 in the chorus. It's all about the differences between the English and the Welsh. And we'll dedicate this to my friend from Liverpool. Thanks a lot, folks. Enjoy the rest of the night. Good night.